Yes, AI will take jobs. In just the past few years, the job market has been changing rapidly. Layoffs are becoming more and more frequent and AI has already started replacing some people. So the question is, should we sit back and just wait for AI to replace us? Or should we start building the kind of skills that AI can't replace? Hi friends, I'm Maddie. I'm a senior software engineer who previously worked at Google and interned at other big tech companies like Amazon, IBM, and Microsoft. I've seen firsthand how AI is reshaping our industry and I've watched which roles are thriving and which are struggling. In this video, I'm gonna show you the exact tech skills that AI actually can't replace, and more importantly, how to develop them so that you can future-proof your career. We'll cover the human-centered skills that are becoming premium positions, the technical roles that require human judgment, and the strategic thinking abilities that no algorithm can replicate. Let's dive into what's really happening in the tech job market right now. Look, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. AI is changing everything. But here's what most people get wrong. They think AI is coming to replace all tech workers. That's not what I'm seeing at companies like Google, Meta, or Amazon. Here's something that might change your perspective. OpenAI, Google, Ananthropic, and other companies are actually hiring thousands of human experts to provide training data for their AIs. The data backs this up. PwC's 2025 analysis of nearly 1 billion job postings found something remarkable. Wages are rising twice as fast in AI-exposed industries. Workers with AI skills now command a 56% wage premium, up from just 25% last year. Even with CEO predictions about cuts, MIT research shows that automation is often too expensive to implement. The World Economic Forum initially predicted a net loss of 14 million jobs but now projects 11 million new AI-related jobs by 2030. What's really happening is much more nuanced. Yes, certain routine tasks are getting automated, but at the same time, entirely new categories of jobs are emerging. The pattern I'm seeing is clear. AI is eliminating repetitive work while amplifying roles that require human judgment, creativity, and complex problem solving. The first skill I want to cover is systems thinking and architecture. Let's start with something fundamental, the ability to see the big picture. AI can optimize individual components, but it struggles with system-level thinking. Enterprise solution architects are actually becoming more valuable, not less. These professionals understand how different systems talk to each other. For example, legacy systems, cloud platforms, on-premise infrastructure. They're the ones who convince stakeholders about why certain technologies should be adopted or decommissioned. Think about it. AI can definitely suggest and implement the optimal database for a specific use case, but it can't understand the political dynamics of migrating a 20-year-old legacy system while keeping the business running. That requires human judgment. Cloud architects are in a similar territory. They make trade-offs between cost, performance, and security based on unique business requirements. Every company's needs are unique, and that contextual decision-making is purely human. I've seen this personally. Even with all of the great AI tools available, companies still need humans to translate business requirements into technical solutions solutions and navigate the complexity of enterprise environments. Before we dive deeper, let me be balanced about what's really happening. Some tech roles are disappearing, and not because companies are cutting back, but because AI is replacing entire workflows. For example, DevOps engineers are seeing a lot of their tasks automated by tools like Copilot and AWS Code Catalyst. Entry-level software engineers face similar pressure as AI can now write backend code, generate APIs, and create unit tests. Manual QA testing tasks are also being replaced by AI that can auto-generate test cases. But here's the thing, there's a strong correlation between jobs disappearing and new ones being created. Data entry clerks are being automated away, but big data specialists are in huge demand. Bank tellers are disappearing, but fintech engineers are thriving. Meanwhile, certain roles are actually growing because of AI. Cloud engineers who design and build infrastructure are seeing increased demand because AI applications need robust cloud platforms. Also, cloud architects who translate business requirements into technical solutions are more valuable than ever. And here's the kicker, AI ML demand has grown by 300 70% over the past five years, and cloud computing skills are now in demand across about 40% more sectors than AI ML. The question isn't about whether change is coming, it's about whether you're positioning yourself into the growing categories. Another skill to take into consideration is human AI collaboration. Here's something counterintuitive. The more AI we have, the more we need people who can work with AI effectively. This is where some of the highest paying opportunities are emerging. For example, prompt engineers might sound like a joke to some people at first, but they're making a 100K to 200K because they understand how to get AI systems to provide reliable, business-ready outputs. This is part of the massive surge in Gen AI training. Demand is skyrocketing for skills in prompt engineering, trustworthy AI, and AI-driven decision-making. AI ethics officers are also becoming crucial as companies realize they need humans making decisions about bias, fairness, and responsible AI use. These roles also pay around 150 to 220K because no algorithm can make ethical judgments about its own deployment. AI training data specialists who curate and prepare the data that make 
makes AI systems work are also earning around 110 to 160K. Remember those humans that OpenAI and Google are eagerly hiring? Many of them fall into this category. The pattern here is clear. AI creates new categories of jobs that require human oversight, strategic thinking, and ethical decision-making. Another useful skill to have is complex problem-solving under pressure. Some situations are just too unpredictable for AI to handle alone. For example, cybersecurity professionals are more valuable than ever. Why? Because hackers are creative and unpredictable. When there's a security incident, you need humans who can think on their feet, understand the business impact, and make split-second decisions under pressure. If you just have a bunch of vibe coders who don't actually understand security, you will be screwed. AI can also help with threat detection, but when your company is under attack, you want a human coordinating the response, not just an algorithm. Site reliability engineers and platform engineers face similar challenges. Outages are messy situations. AI can suggest fixes, but deciding what to do when systems are failing requires human judgment and the ability to coordinate with multiple teams while keeping customers informed. Another useful skill is strategic product thinking. This is where AI shows its limitations, understanding what customers actually want and need. For example, technical product managers are becoming more valuable, not less. They take vague business ideas and turn them into product plans. They coordinate with leadership, customers, engineers, and other stakeholders. AI can for sure analyze user data and select features, but it can't understand the nuanced human motivations behind user behavior. It can't read between the lines in customer feedback or navigate the political dynamics of getting stakeholders aligned on a product vision. A user experience designers who understand human psychology are also very useful. AI can generate UI mockups easy, but it can't understand the user journey a user goes through when interfacing with a product. Creative careers are thriving despite predictions that AI would kill creativity. For example, creative designers are earning 100 to 200K, creative directors are earning 140 to 220K, UX UI designers who work with AI are making 110K to 170K, content strategists are pulling between 90K to 145K, and brand architects average at 116 to 172K. Why? Because AI can generate the content, but it can't generate the culture. It can make the design assets, but it can't generate meaning. The professionals who understand how to direct AI while adding human insight and cultural context are incredibly valuable. GitHub CEO mentioned something interesting. This is actually the best time to learn coding because AI amplifies what developers can do. Smart companies that are thinking about long-term aren't replacing developers. They're hiring more of them because each developer becomes exponentially more productive with AI tools. So what should you actually do? Here's my practical strategy based on what the data shows. First, develop what MIT calls the epoch skills, empathy, presence, opinion, or ethics, creativity, and hope or leadership. These human-centered skills aren't just soft skills, they're economic power tools. Stanford's research shows that roles requiring human psychological insight aren't just safe, they're booming and becoming premium positions. Second, become an AI multiplier, not an AI competitor. Learn to use AI tools to amplify your capabilities rather than seeing them as threats. The goal is to become more effective by directing AI rather than competing with it. Third, position yourself in growth intersections. Look for roles that combine human judgment with AI capabilities. The sweet spot is jobs where AI handles routine tasks while you focus on strategy, creativity, and complex decision making. Fourth, think of coding as a foundational skill like math. Even if you're not going to be a developer, basic coding skills are becoming essential among many roles, just like basic math skills are expected in most professions. Finally, stay close to the business impact of your work. The more you understand how your technical skills solve real business problems and create value, the more irreplaceable you become. Remember, the strongest career production isn't just technical skills, it's a combination of technical expertise with uniquely human capabilities. I want to reiterate that here is the fundamental mindset shift you need to make. Stop thinking about competing with AI and just thinking about collaborating with it. The most successful tech professionals I know aren't trying to do what AI does better, they're the ones using the AI to handle mundane routine tasks so they can focus on high level strategy, problem solving, and interaction. AI is a tool that makes good engineers great and great engineers exceptional, but it can't replace the human elements of judgment, creativity, empathy, and strategic thinking. So in conclusion, the future of tech isn't about humans versus AI, it's about humans working with AI. The professionals who thrive will be those who understand how to leverage AI while focusing on uniquely human capabilities. Yes, some jobs are changing or disappearing, but new opportunities are also emerging to replace the ones going away. The key is to position yourself in roles that amplify your human strengths rather than trying to compete with AI at what AI does best. The tech industry has always been about adaptation. The professionals who succeed are the ones who see change coming and position themselves accordingly. And that's all I have for you in this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button and subscribe for more insights on navigating the changing tech landscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.